are back again with another workout. Today, we're gonna do abs, get that core looking right, cause summer is coming. Let's go. All right, first workout we're gonna do, we're gonna do heel taps. So we're gonna come down here, up to the ground, like that. We're gonna have those shoulders up off the ground. Then come over here, reach. We're gonna go from side to side. Make sure you keep that tension on those obliques. We're gonna tap 12 on each side. Making sure we keep up a nice pace, keeping that contraction going the entire time after burn already. Right now, we're going to do elevated crunches. Coming down here to the ground. Then have our legs up. Arms up behind the head. Come up. Making sure again that we keep those shoulders off the ground. It's one of the main things when you do a core, but you don't want to release that tension. You want to keep that tension going that entire time for you. Side to side planks. What we're gonna do, come down here onto our forearms and engage that core, trying to bring your belly button up towards your spine. Then we're gonna go side to side, bringing the hip down to the ground, 12 on each side. You're releasing those obliques real fast. Keep it up though, you got it. Three sets of these again. All these ab workouts, three sets, 12 reps. Next ab workout, come down here. Set on your butt. It's gonna be Russian twist. Two options here. You can have your feet planted on the ground so the heels are on the ground. You can come here, lean back a little bit. And you're gonna act like you have a ball in your hand. A twist to each side. You're gonna bring those hands down to the opposite hip each time for rotating. Want to make it a little bit more difficult, bring those feet up in the air. Same motion. Still bring your hands down to the hips. Squeezing, engaging that core the entire time. 12 on each side. Just gonna come down. Bunch of back. Let's do normal sit-ups. Come in, get playing. Then sit yourself all the way up. The other option if you can't sit yourself all the way up, sitting up does require a nice strong core. So if you can't sit up all the way, you turn a little bit for you. So what you're gonna do, put your hands on your head, you're gonna stare at the ceiling. Don't want you to bring your neck, don't want you to add extra tension to your neck. I want you to find a spot on the ceiling, you look up, you look straight up, just do a normal crunch for me. Just gonna come up like this. But if you can, I want you to try to sit all the way up. Put your hands on the chest, over the shoulders. Up to 12 of these. Well, like I said, if you can't do these, just do those crunches. Workout, we're gonna do the leg raises. Again, coming down to the ground. Really flat. Then we place our hands on the ground to brace ourselves. We're gonna bring the legs out extended. Bring them up. And then when you bring them back down, they do not touch the ground. So you're gonna bring them up as high as you can. So if you only come up not that high, that's perfectly fine. You just want to keep the tension on those lower abs. So if you want to make it a little bit harder. Add a hip raise when you get up to the top. So you raise yourself up. Pop those hips up off the ground as well. But just the normal one is perfectly. Right, so that'll end our video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope your abs, your core is burning. Gonna wake up tomorrow, not be able to get up. That's perfectly fine. You don't have anywhere to be. But again, thank you for joining me. If you like this, please like, follow, share with your friends, all that fun stuff. Again, I've been real.
Thank you.